Yeah, you heard it here. We have a new trend going on that's shitting on people that do negative reviews. Now, I don't understand this whole idea of crapping on people who do negative reviews as if negative reviews are some kind of end all. It's like, oh no, the multi-million, billion dollar corporation that just put out this product worked so hard on it, you're gonna destroy it. It's devastating by saying it's bad. No, people are just being honest. The thing that really started this was this tech review video that uh, Marquise Brownlee put out. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm, 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 I'm shit with names, so I apologize. Basically, he put out this tech review video. He said, tech review die, and people just found it distasteful. They thought it was some kind of moral argument. Like, hey, you're, you're being negative. You're hurting this business, right? Like, it's some kind of damage like they're hurting people right like it's, like it's a corporation like there, there is a tech corporation we're in a state of like youtube where dislikes aren't public where people don't get that either like they don't know that dislikes used to be public they should be public so like if you really thought he did a bad job on his video imagine the public reviews of his video for reviewing the tech thing i guarantee you you'd see way more likes and dislikes you see it's just a small fraction of people who are butthurt about this as if it's some kind of bad thing like your moral compass is telling you that leaving a bad review and being a critical person and looking at the world around you and questioning things is a bad thing to do that's some cult behavior people doesn't matter what it is if it's like apple or if it's some kind of company there's people who are going to dick ride the company all the way through to timbuktu it's just gonna be that way forever and it's not gonna be grounded or based on any logical facts or any kind of ascertainable reality it's always gonna be hoopla 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 is this brick that gets thrown around that we all know well. It's just a bunch of loaded nonsense that people try to shove out of their mouth. It's Yappersville of trying to figure out why something is bad because they're uncomfortable with it because they don't live in a reality where they can calmly understand that something can exist outside of their own belief structure now i absolutely do believe in public dislikes i really do think we should bring those back like even for my videos like i could look back at my analytics and go damn some people didn't like this well that's kind of the point is that you kind of don't want to look back on your past and think that all the stuff that you did was great i think overall this negative review thing is just kind of stupid just don't focus on it just just let it go let it go that's not going to happen. It's not a moral issue to leave a negative review. It is not a moral issue. You are not a bad person. You are not doing something wrong. You are in your right to give your criticisms with your First Amendment right for freedom of speech, especially in the United States, even beyond that. So yeah, nothing too crazy here. Don't fall into this pitfall of bad reviews are bad. No, bad reviews are good sometimes. One of my favorite YouTubers is Madvocate. He gives like these very detailed, hypercritical um, explanations as to why certain Marvel and DC TV shows or movies are just bad. And he does a very good job at explaining that. And his entire show, his entire stick, his YouTube channel is that and he's successful at it and people enjoy it and think that he's good for doing it although for example there are a handful of people that do get offended that he does it the same thing for moist critical there's always going to be people that don't like what you do there's going to be people that don't like what you do no matter what there's going to be people that don't like what i do or who i am no matter what the same for you it doesn't matter who you are or what you do if you are a perfect squeaky clean person someone's gonna have a problem with it and it's just the way that it is and hopefully nothing comes as bad out of this we just all move on and point and laugh at the people who got offended at negative reviews so again thank you so much for watching leave a like to the subscribe button i'll see you in the next video Complete.